Scotty Applin from the Applin Group here with Janet Jackson. She's the owner of Eat and Run Catering here in Williamsport, and we are in uh, Water Tower Square at her restaurant. And we're just going to sit down with her and just ask her a couple questions. So, Janet, what got you into doing this business? Well, um, for 23 years of my life, I was in advertising, and I traveled all over the country. And one day, I just decided I needed to be home. And so I yeah. started. I bought an ice cream shop. was my first endeavor. Nice. And then people started asking if I would cater or, or do different things. And I have a very big family, so Sunday Sundays at my house was always 20 to 30 people. So large cooking didn't didn't really scare me a whole lot. And so we started into um, the uh, we had the ice cream shop, and then we would do some catering on the side. Um, and then we opened up, uh, expanded from there and started working at Life Homing Engines and running the cafeteria there, breakfast oh, and lunch wow. every day. Um, and then people kept asking me, how can we taste your food? How can we taste your food? And I'm a little bit of a smart aleck. So I said, well, you could have a funeral. And they always said, why would you start with a funeral? I said, a wedding is a lot of commitment. So we went, we, um, we really, uh, uh jumped into it and, uh, opened the restaurant in, uh, um, very scary time. We are, Op doors opened um, March uh, of 2020, two okay. weeks before the pandemic. So, wow. um, but I will say God is good and he's blessed us over and over again. So, yeah. So what was that like opening your restaurant right before the pandemic? Like, did it affect your business a lot or? Well, yeah, business? very, in, in huge ways it did because nobody knew we were here yet. We were only open right. for two weeks. Um, the people in the building here, there were uh, six to 700 people working in this building at that time. So it was a a huge opportunity for um, instant instant customers. However, within the first two weeks, everybody went home and sheltered in place. So we had to come up with a, a new um, rhyme or reason to our business. We had to come up with new plans. And uh, my team, amazing, my kids, my, my staff that I have are incredible. And they really bucked up. My son got an online ordering system ready. And uh, we, within the first week, were doing online orders and deliveries. Um, we also um, took a leap of faith, and we had some customers um, that couldn't go home, um, the people yeah. that were the frontline workers. So in, in conjunction with some uh, very generous people in the, in the community and other businesses, and a lot on our own plate, um, we donated over 2,500 meals to frontline workers, grocery stores wow. and um, doctor's offices, the hospitals. Um, and everybody said, how can you afford to do that? You just opened a restaurant. I said, how can I afford not to do it? Yeah, right. um, nobody knows we're here. But um, when they say it comes full circle, it definitely does. Because a lot of those people that we fed um, at all of those different locations are very faithful, very loyal customers here. So um, it was awesome. scary, very scary. And we yeah. also developed a um, meal plan for families. So we did family meals on Saturdays, and they would place their orders. And, you know, we didn't touch or talk in those days. We did sign language through the window. So <laughs> we, um, we had... Um, uh, a family meal plan every week, and people would call and or email us that they wanted six meals for their family. We would do six individual meals. Um, we would put them in hot bags. We had six routes, and we went from Milton to Lock Haven, and we had wow. six people driving, and we would the old ding dong ditch, you know, knock on the door wow. and run. Um, but we had uh, we we did hundreds and hundreds of meals, and that's how our our uh, our business basically stayed alive during that time. That's incredible. Wow, that's awesome. What sort of services do you offer? Like, do you guys, you guys do catering? Do you, you know, do a bunch of events like weddings and funerals? Absolutely. We, stuff like funerals, that? Like, so, yeah. we so. do funerals. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we've been um, blessed with a really, uh, really great um, mix of, of services. So we have our restaurant, um, which um, is kind of the fun part. I always say that's the fun part of the business. And then we really work hard at the catering. Um, so our catering, um, we, we have hundreds and hundreds of events. Um, our biggest year was in uh, 2021 because we had a lot of making up to do. We counted the individual events, everything from weddings to funerals to office parties to, you know, family dinners that we did. And we did over 1,200 events in 2021. What? Yeah, it was exhausting. That is crazy. It was exhausting. We did, we had weekends where we had 10 to 15 events from Friday to Sunday trying to squeeze what? everybody in. Yeah, we're nuts. We're not normal. That is crazy. Um, but that's why people that work with me are nuts too. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, but we do everything from weddings to birthdays to anniversaries. We 
with the space that we have at our restaurant, if people haven't been here, they really need to come. It's it's homey. It's, I always tell people I wanted to feel like you walked into my kitchen and sat down at the table and we have a cup of coffee and chat. Yeah. Um, we do here in our, our restaurant. It's really cute, I think. Um, but we do. We have a beautiful banquet table that we set up down the middle and we do showers and baby showers and bridal showers. And we've done in the last three weeks, three funerals here. Um, wow. And people came in and they were able to mix and mingle and you know have some yummy treats off the buffet and um, but but share time in a, a more intimate atmosphere than a funeral home. So yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and it is beautiful in here. It's sweet. So when you initially got this spot in Water Tower Square, mm-hmm. did you have to like remodel it? To absolutely. It Actually, it was in January when I um, started thinking I needed to to make a different, do something different. Yeah. And um, so I was remembering that this was here. I had, at one point in my advertising career, I had an office on the fourth floor. And I said, I wonder what's going on at that space. So I made some phone calls, made some connections. Um, and um, we were told it would take two to three months before they could even start doing any renovations because I was very clear that I didn't want a cafeteria, that I wanted a restaurant, yeah, um, a family type environment. And they said, well, it's gonna be two to three months before we can get started. And um, I said, well, I don't have that much time, so you you sit in your big boy chair, and I'm going to get going, and I'll let you know if we need some help. We started on February 1st and um, did our grand opening on March 2nd, and we did all the work, with the exception of the floor, and I mean, they would send in a plumber if we needed it, and but we we did all the painting, we we ripped out things, we we gutted the kitchen to the walls, um, and started over, so it was a lot of... Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, right. A lot of tears. Yeah, it is, it is really, really beautiful in here. I love, like, the brick walls and yeah. stuff. And it's just, it is really homey in here. It's Thank awesome. you. In your restaurant, what do you think is your specialty dish? What do you think people like the most? You know, the, I, people ask me that all the time, and it's a very hard thing. to. I, I think that I've never had a complaint about um, within reason. I've never had any, you know, people love the food. Um, I think what we're known for is huge portions, amazing prices. And uh, we kind of have a joke that um, we don't have to-go boxes, we have quitter boxes. When you quit and you tap out, we'll give you a box to take the rest home. Um, but amazing breakfast, um, our burgers, we do half pound burgers, not thir- not not quarter pound burgers or, or third pound. Um, we do big half pound burgers. Um, the the macaroni and cheese is to die for. It really is to die for. <laughs> You've had that before. I've right? had plates of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the piles of it. Our pasta salad. I mean, we just we everything is homemade. So we there's not a lot that doesn't go well. Our, our quesadillas are known far and wide. We do the quesadillas. We also do all the all the concession stands under the bleachers um, or under the grandstands at the Lycoming County Fairgrounds. Oh wow. So. Um, We've been very, very, become very known for our quesadillas. They're nice and huge. And I have yeah. people at the fair this year say, you mean I don't have, you have a restaurant? You mean I don't have to wait a year to get another <laughs> one? So, um, but just a really good variety. And we also, we're open every day, seven days a week. I think one of the things we're most known for on the weekends is Sticky Bun Day. Sticky Buns. Sticky Bun Day. So on Sunday when you come in and you order your food, we bring out Sticky Buns. Um, for you to munch on while you're waiting for your food. So, nice. um, and we come in about 4:35 o'clock in the morning and roll those out. It's my grandmother's old recipe, and people die for them. They love them. So that's awesome. So, do you cook? Is are all the recipes here? Are they your recipes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you make all the food and have all the I recipes. have instructed people how to make the food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> absolutely. Yeah, we have a great team, and, and they work really hard. Um, at, we, so we use we, our one kitchen. It's a very big kitchen, but it seems very small when you're doing restaurant out of it, as well as getting prepped for caterings and things like that. Oh, sure. um, so even this week, we've had four caterings, and it's, what's today, Wednesday? We've had yeah. four caterings oh, this week God, already. Um, but, you know, so we, we have, a t- our team is very flexible, too. I always tell people, you don't have a lot of titles around here, because if the dishes aren't done, somebody's got to do them. You yeah, know right. I mean? So we work, um, we work with the com- some community groups, um, uh, CSG and places like that, and we give some people with special needs some opportunities to work in the kitchen with us as well, and so nice. that, that's always a blessing. You seem like you're very community-oriented. Very much so. We just did coffee with a cop uh, two weeks ago, Saturday. We had the state police in, and um, we set up some cookies and coffee, and people ordered their breakfast, and the state troopers come around, and they... Uh, cool. They talk with with the the customers and and kids and adults alike. Um, it, the last Saturday in February, we're going to do meet the mayor with the Williamsport may, mayor of Williamsport will come in and do the same thing. So and then we're going to do a local police as well. That's awesome. 
How many, about how many employees do you have currently working here? So um, we have, uh, it's a variety, varies during the year. So during uh, this time of year, we have about 26 employees. Okay. Um, in the height of catering season, we could 50, 50 to 60. Wow. So it doubles when it's catering <laughs> Yes, season. very much so. Now, this catering season, is that like in the spring when like weddings and stuff? We like, cater all year long, but the season would be like May to November. Okay. So it's wow. most of the year. We get a little bit of a reprieve. Not that we're not catering, but that the weekend events aren't as, as massive. Yeah, right. Know. So is this currently your only location right here in Water Tower Square? So we have this is our only location, but we are very diversified. So we run the cafeteria at Lake Homing Engines. We have a cafeteria division. Okay. So Lake Homing Engines, we do breakfast and lunch there every day, five, uh, five days a week. We also run Stellan Technologies, and we do breakfast and lunch there five days a week. Wow. Um, and we service all of their employees, and they can come in and... Um, because in a, in a manufacturing situation, a lot of times you have 10 or 15 minutes for a breakfast and a half an hour for lunch, and then you're back on the floor. Yeah, so right. it allows them time to have a nice fresh meal. Um, that we had a coffee shop and restaurant, uh, I'm sorry, coffee shop and bakery on Lake Homing Creek Road, and we made the decision um, to incorporate that here in the restaurant. Okay. So it's been amazing. Um, we actually have, I'll show you this at the back of our menu, specialty coffees as well as any kind of baked good that you want. We already had a bakery rock in here so that we just incorporated so we can yeah. put out twice as much um, product. But we have um, any kind of specialty coffee you can think. I, I might have a little bit too, mac too much caffeine going on every day now. <laughs> <That's but. laughs> right. You said you're open seven days a week, so what are your hours here for, for your restaurant? So we are open eight to two, seven days a week. However, um, from um, November through Lent, we have also offer a Friday night dinner. Okay. Um, the Friday night dinners, um, we're, so we're on Fridays in that time period. We're open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We have a full menu available, um, not to the some to the chagrin of my cooks that they have to make breakfast at so seven o'clock at night. <laughs> but can't shut breakfast off. Uh, but we also have specials. We do a lot of like um, um, broiled haddock, fried haddock, and when we get into Lent, we'll do a lot of seafood, scallops, and lobster tails and, and things nice. like that. Um, and our our Friday night specials run from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, awesome. What do you want people to know about your restaurant? Like, what do you think makes your restaurant so unique? My unique selling proposition. I might have had some advertising in my life. <laughs> um, I think it's about coming home. You know, I think a lot of us are, are feeling, uh, for, for a couple years there, scary years, people were feeling very disconnected and very... Um, separated from friends and family and um, I love the idea that people can come here um, and we have a lot of elderly people that come and you know the cost of groceries right now the cost of food the cost of living yeah. has changed so much but I love it when I you know I hear my little girls I call my little ladies they come in and they they eat their food and then they have a, a quitter box to take home and that's <laughs> they can get two meals out of it so they can yeah, right. I, I hear often lately I can come here and eat cheaper than I can buy groceries at home you know <laughs> but I just think the family atmosphere and just being able to touch people's lives um, I'm blessed with an amazing staff Carly who's my head waitress you know Know, the girls, uh, my daughter, and the girls that work on the weekend, they, they know the customers. And when it's something to be said when you walk into a restaurant, and somebody knows you. Like, oh, yeah, yeah I know absolutely. I know you're going to get an orange juice and a water. Yeah. You know, I know your mom's going to get the chicken salad because that's yeah, what right. she eats. But we, <laughs> so we just, you know, just knowing the customers and it makes them feel welcome and like part of our family. Absolutely. Yeah. So are you hiring any employees right at this moment? Um, we're always keeping our eyes open for expanding our staff. As we get closer to spring, definitely, we start building up uh, and ramping up our catering teams. Yeah. Uh, we typically have five full wedding teams going through the busy season um, for weekend, uh, especially on the weekends. So, you know, it's a mom that wants some extra money. It's, you know, a, a college student that doesn't want to work during the week. But so we are always open to the opportunity of bringing on new people. Um, we're all crazy. So you have to be a little crazy <laughs> to fit in. <laughs> if somebody wanted to, you know, ask you guys for catering or wanted to apply for a job or just wanted to get in touch with you to order food, how would they get in touch with you? Um, the quickest way would probably be our website to start eatandruncatering.com um, and on there we have our, our restaurant menu we also if you scooch a little bit to the right there's one called food for thought that's our catering menu I'll tell you right now there's no prices in there we, we quote each each event individually based on number of people combination of food yeah. um, look, all that good stuff and the services that they need um, and we have um, a 
the phone line here at the restaurant, it's 272-230-7270. Right. Um, and they can direct you to whatever direction you need, whether you need a reservation, whether you need um, to just get the address. We are located, uh, the best way to give directions to where we are is we are just past Planet Fitness on the highway side of the Water Tower Square. Because when you Google it, it takes you over to the other side by the river. So. <laughs> I already caught all the fish for the fish sandwiches. You don't need to go to that side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Jenna, thank you so much for the interview. I thank really you. appreciate it. It's and, nice to uh, see your cute little face. I cannot wait to uh, eat some food right after we're done. Dig in. <laughs> so, Carlene, how long have you been working here? Uh, a year now. A year now. What did you do before you came to work here? Uh, waitress. You waitress? For a very long time. Yep. Nice. So, what's your favorite part about working here for Jenna? I, I love the people. I love, like, I love just... I know everybody's face that comes in here, like all the people that work in the building. And like, I know the gluten-free people. So if we make gluten-free <laughs> cupcakes, I'm like, hey, Patrick, got to come down. We got gluten-free cupcakes. So I just, I like to know all the businesses in here and I like to build relationships with the customers. That's awesome. That's yeah. wonderful. Actually, I just made peanut butter pie for one of the Larson Design guys because it's his birthday on Friday. <laughs> That's super awesome. What do you think of Janet? Yeah. Oh, Janet's amazing. She did say all of her employees are paychecks. a little crazy. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all fit in here. We're we're some strong personalities, so we have to make sure that we got some some good personalities coming in here. Well, thank you so much for the questions. I really appreciate it.